డాక్టర్ బి రమేష్ కుమార్ ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ గ్యాస్ట్రంటాలజీ ఉస్మానియా జనరల్ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ ఆల్సో హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ గ్యాస్ట్రంటాలజీ ప్రతిమ హాస్పిటల్స్ కాచిగూడా ఆన్ ద అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ వరల్డ్ హెపటైటిస్ డే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు గివ్ స్మాల్ information and message to all of you see as you all know this hepatitis that means inflammation of the liver hepatitis inflammation of the liver so that means the liver is getting injury so this liver injury is caused by many like for example alcohol is one of the commonest etiology then followed by drugs and then followed by toxins then followed by viruses so on this occasion we would like to take this message how to control this viruses and how to prevent this viral hepatitis so under the mission of national health mission we have national viral control program so in this we are especially looking for all viruses which causes liver injury hepatitis a hepatitis b c d and e out of which a and e are rna viruses they are self limited they will not cause much of chronicity and their incubation period is about 15 to 45 days get you will get the infection then voluntarily without any drug the symptomatically they can be managed without but in few percent of cases they may produce acute liver failure which is fatal should be these patients should be hospitalized and given the treatment as far as hepatitis e virus is concerned this is also rna viruses rna virus but sometimes it produce liver injury especially causing problem in pregnant patients with a mortality about 15 to 20%. The more importantly now we have hepatitis B and C and D. B D always comes with hepatitis B. So it's for little difficult to treat hepatitis B and D. So hepatitis B we have acute hepatitis B and chronic hepatitis B. hepatitis b if it is if you get uh, infection in childhood the chances of the developing into chronic city is about 90% of the times whereas if you get in adulthood the chance of getting chronic city is about less than 5% so once we know that this patient is having hepatitis b surface antigen positive so we have to work up and see the all family members to be checked for hepatitis b and they should be vaccinated so what happens if you go, if you don't treat this hepatitis b if you don't eradicate this hepatitis b virus from your body so you may develop well compensated cirrhosis decompensated cirrhosis but most importantly this virus will directly integrates into the genome of the hepatocyte which causes hepatocellular carcinoma that is more important is hepatocellular carcinoma so that's the reason why we should be very careful when we are dealing with the case of hepatitis b positive patients so they have to be followed incidentally detected positive will be around less than 4% of in india so these patients to be followed up regularly and uh, few develop complications as i told you acute liver failure or chronic liver failure or aclf so that treatment has to be done for hepatitis b similarly of course we once we patient requires treatment when we do the markers like hepatitis b antigen anti hepatitis b e antibody and pv dna quantitative if the virus is less, more than 20000 e antigen is negative lft is abnormal then these patients has to be put on antiviral drugs like tenofovir telfenavir alafenamide or entecovir so depending upon the patient situation we have to give the treatment sometimes requiring lifetime and hepatitis b also in a special groups like pregnancy like chronic ckd patients 
and HIV combination, HCHIV and HCV combination also we will get. So we have to treat accordingly. Similarly, hepatitis C also is an RNA virus. These group of patients will develop complication in the form of chronic liver disease in 20 to 30 percent of the patients. They may have well compensated cirrhosis or decompensated cirrhosis and also a particular carcinoma. So HCV, suppose incidentally found anti-HCV positive, what we need to do is get one HCV RNA quantitative test and liver function test. If the uh, HCV RNA is quantity is high, LFT is abnormal, ultrasound showing some fatty liver, so these patients have to be put on antiviral treatment. We have very good drugs like directly acting antiviral drugs. So we have to give up to 12 weeks depending upon the clinical scenario. So more importantly, my message is to see that all of you should do hepatitis B is surface antigen positive. If it is negative, all of you should get vaccinated. We have good vaccines available across. So three doses, zero, one and six months, we have to take the vaccine. So it gives you approximately 90% of the times protection. Thank you.